this is the foremost poets, aka Johnny Dangerous. Uh, hope everybody's doing well. It's about 1:45 in the morning, and uh, I wanted to do this tutorial because I have a really strong belief that people are going through the same problem that I am, and that is uh, how to delete your sparse bundle from your time machine. There's been a lot of talk and speculation about it. I want to just get into it and see if I can help as many people out there as I can with this. Save you some time, if nothing else. Okay, so let's get to it. Now, for those of you who are new to what the time capsule is, of course, this time capsule is uh, just your backup. This is a device that uh, Apple made to back up your computer. And there's two versions now. Of course, this is your your uh, older version, which your original version and uh it goes up to about two terabytes and then this is the newer version which goes to about two or three terabytes at the date of this recording which is december of 2015 okay and they will change very soon just the nature of the machine so the sparse bundle for these devices is the the software or i should say the compression wear that helps the computer to uh, back up all of your information. I've been to quite a few places trying to solve this problem. And um, all of them give good advice. But once you get started, your whole day just zip past you and you don't know why. <laughs> so I said, you know what, let me just do this and see if I can help as many people as I can. If we go to system preferences, system preferences will give us the ability to change our energy saver and the energy saver needs to be set to never because we don't need the computer to sleep in order for the computer to get the deletion done. We're going to need it to stay on. One of the things that I didn't mention is that in all these tutorials, they one of them mentions, and I can't remember just exactly which one, but one of them mentions that it will be a lot easier to delete all of this information from a PC. In fact, I believe this is it here. And it goes into detail. This is gravitationalpull.net, of course. I'll leave the link down if you want to read it yourself. But for those of us that don't have PCs, uh, we're going to have to go the long way. And so what I'm going to do at the end of this tutorial is uh, leave space for a link that can give us a much faster way to get this done. In the meantime, at the date of this recording, until I get that link, or until one of you wonderful people send it to me so I can paste it to this video, we have to go the long way in the meantime. So. With that said, <clears throat> what we want to do is we want to go to our computer and we want to go to our time machine. And what we want to do is set it up so that we can delete it. Now, what you're looking at is we're looking at two sparse bundles that are doing the same job. But one of them I'm deleting. The one at the top is the one that I'm deleting. If I command I this thing and let you see the information, you can see that this is Exodoria iMac and so uh, 200 gigabytes. Now the new one is much bigger. Why? Because it has all the information. And as you can see, this one has 314. So in deleting the first one, what we'll have to do is double finger click and go to show packet contents okay and in doing that is going to give us a folder called bands now the answer is yes there are other files that are supposed to be here other commands on the outside of the bands folder now i'm sorry i'm not showing you this because my computer is giving me some trouble with this let me just see if i can so what we want to do is 
we want to go to bands and in bands we have thousands of files here that all make up your backup hard drive okay for you geeks out there I just uh, apologize for not speaking the proper lingo but just bear with me so here's all the uh, all the files inside of the folder I did a select all and you're able to see all of the files in 15,000 989 when I started there were 25,500 and change okay so in deleting these what we want to do is we want to grab approximately 5,000 of them at a time okay some people say 8,000 I'm doing five just so that uh, I can monitor it and make sure that the process is is going okay so I'm just gonna anal retentively choose exactly five thousand so now there's five thousand items once I do that I'm gonna move them to the trash okay and it's gonna start the process now once that process starts, this is what's going to happen. It's going to look like this. You're going to have them chosen. And then you're going to have this come up. It'll let you know that you're deleting 5,000 items. And currently, since I started a couple of days ago, I'm down to 1,103 items. Now, why am I showing you this way? The reason why I'm showing you this way is because there's no way for you to tell that the slow process of this deleting is processing. This does not give you a readout at the bottom. So because this is not giving you a readout and it's just frozen, it makes you think that nothing is happening. Okay. Now that I tell you that, now you understand why I made the tutorial. I'm making it because if you don't know that it's working, you can think that you're wasting your time and you'll be searching for all of these different tutorials, all of these different opinions. Meanwhile, you're losing precious time trying to get rid of the stuff and it's not moving. So you select 5000 items from your bands folder. And after that time, you're able to monitor those files to see that they are deleting. You can check them once every four hours, once every six hours, and know that they will dwindle. The big question is how long does this process take? This process takes approximately 800 to 1,000 files per day. Okay, so now that I'm down to approximately 1,103 items, uh, that will let you know I did this approximately four days ago. Okay. So with that said, once it's done, you go back and you grab another 5,000 and do it all over again. And this way, you know that what you're doing is working. You minimize those windows and you drop them down here and they should delete while you're still doing what you need to do. Okay. So as we do that and, uh, and bring the computer back to normal. I wanted to make sure that you understood what that was. So that's it. I just, um, this was a pain in the behind. And I hope that uh, you can get some benefit out of it. So thanks again for listening to me. And if something else comes across my desk, I will run it to you. Last but not least, I just want to remind you. If one of you sends me a better tutorial. Please send it to me and I will post it to this video and post it right here at the bottom. So if you see a link here, that means that some, one of you wonderful people just sent me a better link than this tutorial. So there's no need to dislike this. Just send me the link and I'll post it here. Um, don't have any problems with that. That's why we did it in the first place. Have a good night. Have a good morning. And um, I'll talk to you soon.